Coming back to you with another one. We over here with JL and Taylor. Yeah, I'm finally giving him his hat. What's going on, everybody? What y'all up to? Oh, oh, dang! Oh, finally boom! There you go, JJ. From Travis. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> see, JJ, you act like you don't know me though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Subscribe to the channel, please. <laughs> Everyone, please go to JJ the Trucker's channel and comment on his most recent video and put subscribe to Travis Kinley. I do repeat, subscribe to Travis Kinley. Thank you very much. And let's let your people watch my people. I mean, I, I still gotta record the, the beginning of my clip. Oh, okay. I mean. <laughs> hey, Taylor, how's training going, man? I mean, I'm just, uh, I'm just feel like really, uh, fortunate to see worlds collide like this. Are you, are you like learning a lot sitting in the parking lot too? I mean, this is probably the most educational moment of my whole training, that really. That is terrible, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that is oh, terrible. It, says, <laughs> it really does. It really does. Y'all check out JL's Taylor. truck. It's looking good. It's looking Taylor, good. Like Taylor, 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 Taylor. That's him. He's talking. Look at it. Look at it. We're literally just sitting in the parking lot. Me and Taylor really are about to get to work. Uh, we got some shopping to do. I got something else I got to do. Air filter. Got to get my air filter for my truck. I got a whole list of stuff to do. Yeah. We're going to catch y'all soon, though. All right, beautiful people. So, I am out here at the terminal. Uh, just chilling. Finally got my shopping done. Um, that's been a cool thing. You know, random thought, but a lot of people... You know, they kind of say, oh, don't get a Peterbilt. Your refrigerator is going to be small. I don't know. If you if you learn how to shop and learn how to pack the fridge where it's air still circulates, like, you can fit a good bit of stuff. I'll last like seven to ten days. I guess it depends on what you eat also. Nevertheless, I figured I'd show y'all what I was doing. I was going to break the camera out when I first started, but I'd already got my hands on it. And I was like, yo, I'm not trying to stop. Go on the truck, get the camera. As well as this job, definitely, like, the, light, the headlights... The headlights were kind of a challenge not putting the GoPro on my like you know head mount helmet mount whatever you call it uh, but this one definitely I couldn't do it I need both hands for it especially since I'm not a very tall guy but anyways <sighs> TBH I'm a couple thousand miles behind on my engine air filter change according to the time ticker in primes in the prime app is what it is but i was like yo let me just make it back at the terminal and i will do it after a dab meeting so that's what i'm doing so i just wanted to kind of show y'all what it looked like before okay anyway I, I ain't got time for that before if you're familiar with the mx13 this piece that i have in my hand is mounted right on that filter looking box thing um right here here i'll just get close right there it's mounted on top of that what it looks like is this. It looks like that, you know, when you're doing your pre-trip. All you do, just like this picture right here, it says filter access, cover retention screws. Not sure if you can read that four times, meaning four of them. You literally you just take those off, man. Um, you see the hole right here? Hole right here. One right there, one right there. And you can see I didn't actually take this one off of the cover. That one's still in there. I don't know it it seemed like it didn't want to come out so i was like you know what i really don't need you to come out I, <laughs> I just need you to let go of the actual engine so then after that you just pull that filter out 
just like this. Maybe you want to use gloves. I'm not in the mood to use gloves right now. You drop the filter on the ground just like so. And then you uh, you just slide the other one in and put the screws back in. So, honestly, okay, so this filter, you can see there's a good bit of dirt on that side. On the other hand, though, it's not too deep inside of the filter, so that's cool. And nevertheless, filter cost it, sorry, nevertheless, filter cost me a roughly 80, I think he told me $85 or $84. And that's it. It was a 10 mil. That's it. Get a 10 mil, an extension, and freaking get on your tippy toes if you're my height. And then uh, you take four screws out, slide it out, slide it back in, put four screws back in. And then you go in the terminal and you grab some mac and cheese bites, okay? I'm about to finish this. Catch you in a sec. All right, you guys. So I'm done. Just wanted to show you again what it looks like. Hold on, let me. I got to climb in here. Yeah. In part, I'm making this video because my wife saw me do a pre-trip and she said she was impressed. <laughs> uh, or I think she saw me do a pre-trip and then change the headlights when we did the LED install. She said she was impressed. So I was like, oh, okay. I know what to do now, boy. <laughs> Something wrong with y'all. Anyway. So I wanted to show you what it looks like. I don't know if you can see where my finger is. Yeah, man, I'm sure you can see that. Just that, those are the retention screws. One, two, and then on the top, three, four, just like that. You pull them out, slide that out, slide the filter out. What it looks like, dirty filter. Slide that out, slide the filter out, put a new filter in, slide that back on. I will say if there's one thing I'd say that I didn't expect is that the screws not only screw into the, the filter housing, um, you know, but they also screw into this kind of outer filter housing. I don't know exactly what they call it at the, you know, at PACAR, but uh, it screws into here too. So if you're like me, you know, and you've dropped your fair share of 10 mils eh, and lost them, and then I just knew like, if I lose one of these screws, it's gonna turn into a whole hunt all across Prime. I'm gonna have to burn up two hours and waste my time. So. I took them all the way out whenever I was changing it. You know, I took it all the way out. You really don't have to do that. Or even if you do that, just before you put it back on, screw it into the actual outer housing first. And that's gonna save you a ton of time. That's really the only tip I feel like you need. You don't even need that. But screw it into the actual outer housing first, then put the outer housing, like I set the outer housing right here and I screwed the screws into that first. Otherwise, it's a little more difficult. All right, so. I think I'm just going to let this video stand alone um, and see now I have time. I'm on a load. I got a load to pick up 1 p.m. They said it's around the corner. Live load. Got to get me an empty trailer after a while. But I'm going to go get something to eat, edit some videos or whatever. Um, might skip a day or two this week on content just because DAB had me so busy. Um, but if I have time to record, of course, I'm going to record. But I, I just told Taylor, I strongly suggest y'all do this. Do whatever you can, especially the simple stuff, because, you know, dude, like if I was at, I told Taylor, if I was at TA or Petro, dude, you're gonna have to sit in line two or three hours and then they're finally gonna see you and then it'll be a 20 minute job. Like that just took me 20 or 30 minutes, you know, or you could just go by the filter, do it in the parking lot and then go do what you feel like doing. And I don't know, I think the, uh, I think the, the labor, the hourly labor rate at TA Petro and Loves is somewhere, it's somewhere around like 75 to 100 bucks. Like I just saved myself a hundred bucks, man. Sure, the filter was 85, but I was gonna have to buy the filter either way. So, throw the filter in the trash can. I just saved myself a hundred bucks, dude. And now I know how to do it. I don't know. So strongly encourage you guys like, you know, do what you can do. Okay, do what you can do. And what you can't do, ensure it's something you can't do. Whether you read a book, go on YouTube, just pop your hood. Just like I said, there's a sticker right here that just told me, like what, you know, it's not rocket science. Just pop your hood and look at it first and uh, question yourself, hey, can I do that? Do I have the tools to do that? I had the 10 mil in the truck, pulled the tool, ball, tool bag out. All right, check it out. I might go inside because I'm hungry. We got a load to pick up at one, which means I need to be kind of like pre-tripping around mid-12 or something. I don't know. I need to be doing something. Anyways, I'm about to go inside. I'm about to starve up in here. You already know what the motto is. Work hard, play hard, sleep hard. Find you somebody you love. Don't forget it. It's not about why you believe it. <laughs> Boop. 
All right, you already know what the motto is. Work hard, play hard, sleep hard. Find you somebody to love. Don't forget, it's not about what you believe. It's why you believe it. Live free.